everyone was all set to have a really fun time, but Mr. Marveloso had other ideas. While Mum and Dad were in the kitchen getting the food ready, he made us sit completely still and silent. Grandpa had been right. He was no fun at all. I wondered where Grandpa had got to, but I didn't have to wonder for long. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I thought my first trick was to acquire the assistance. Who made that noise? Of course, I had to pretend it was me. Stop messing about, boy, or there'll be no magic show. Oh, now, where was I? Oh, I hate being interrupted like that. Now, I was really think. worried that Grandpa had hurt himself, but he hadn't. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for my first trick, I need a... Cup of tea, Mr Marveloso. Not now. I'm right in the middle of magic. Oh, OK, then. As I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, for my first trick, I need a watch. You. Of the birthday girl. Jemima really didn't want to hand over her watch. And where was Grandpa? Surely he'd think of something. Come on, nice and quickly, haven't got all day. Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> Mr Marveloso put Jemima's new pink watch in a velvet bag. Then he took out a hammer and... Bang, 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 bang! <gasps> no! Sit down, little girl. But you've just broken my watch! Oh, Jemima! I had a feeling that the watch wasn't really broken, but that it was all part of the trick. I'll finish that trick later. The good news was that I'd found Grandpa. The bad news was he was climbing into the back of Mr Marveloso's magic table. Mr Marveloso was about to begin his next trick. I started to panic. Any moment he was going to find Grandpa. It's your lucky day. I think I'm ready for my next trick. Phew. Grandpa had escaped being seen. He must have found a clever hiding place. Or maybe it wasn't such a clever hiding place. Grandpa was there, all right. I was just about to sneak him into my pocket when... What are you doing, boy? Sit down. Now. I shall make something disappear. This squeaky chicken! Mr Marveloso had taken Beowulf's squeaky chicken. Beowulf wasn't going to be at all pleased about that. And neither was Grandpa. Mr Marveloso dropped the chicken on top of Grandpa, covered it up, then waved his magic wand. It is oh so Marveloso! The chicken had disappeared. And so had Grandpa. Nobody felt like clapping because nobody liked Mr Marveloso. Where was Grandpa? He'd been in some sticky situations before, but he'd never vanished into thin air. Not impressed. I see. Squeaky dog toy not good enough for you. Fine. Well, watch this. Something amazing is about to appear. I had a nasty feeling that something amazing was going to be Grandpa. I couldn't bear to look. It is oh so marveloso! It wasn't Grandpa. It was a rabbit. Have you any idea how hard that trick is? Give me some applause. Come on. Come then on. something very strange happened. I'm not surprised nobody wants to clap you, Mr. Marveloso. You really are the most unpleasant magician I've ever had to work with. Who said that? The rabbit. Don't be ridiculous. Rabbits can't talk. Magic rabbits can. You're a very rude and unkind magician. What? No. It can't possibly. A talking rabbit. I'm getting out of here. Yay! You're a very rude and unkind magician. It's <laughs> <laughs> not funny, Jason. Now Mr. Marveloso's gone and I'll never get my watch back. Mom!